Hello Curl Tops, welcome to This Curl Life. I'm Miss Harista and today we will be talking about how to detangle curly hair while it is wet. <laughs> So tip number one when it comes to detangling curly hair wet is to put conditioner in your hair before you get into the shower. So I cannot emphasize this enough because this tip will really change the game for you <laughs> if you're not doing it already. Take some conditioner five or ten minutes before you get into the shower. Smooth it through your entire head now i talk about the smoothing technique in our last video so if you haven't seen it check that out so if you do this five to ten minutes before you get into the shower and you let that product marinate in your hair not only are you loosening up the curls you are allowing your hair to absorb some of that conditioner it's absorbing that product and it's absorbing some of that moisture some of that oil, whatever ingredients is in your conditioner. And so by the time you drench your hair with water, when you get into the shower, your hair is going to be so much softer, so much more pliable and easier to manage and easier to detangle. I'm just gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna let this marinate for a few minutes before I wet my hair. So tip number two when it comes to wet detangling is to use a conditioner with slip lots and lots of slip <laughs> because unfortunately all conditioners are not created equal the more slip a conditioner has the less tension on your hair the less force you need to use which means that you'll get less breakage and less shedding therefore having a conditioner with tons of slip will make it so much easier for you we actually have a review on the aussie moist conditioner it is so cheap, <laughs> so easy to find. Give it a shot if you haven't already. It's a great detangler and it has tons of slip. If not, just use any conditioner that works for you. So the conditioner has marinated and I have wet my hair completely. And that brings me to tip number three. When it comes to detangling your hair wet, I suggest sectioning your hair with a comb. Why? Let me demonstrate. So let's say you just, you know, finger part it and you take this half away, you clip it up. This only really applies if you're using clips, but okay, I'm gonna take this section, I'm going to detangle here. Once you get close to the roots, if you just finger part, there are gonna be some strands that are on in this section of your hair, but that should really be on this section. So once you get to the roots, you might feel some tension and you might have some breakage there. You might break some of those strands because this clip is holding it pretty tightly and you're coming close to the roots and you're trying to yank that hair away from this clip. And you don't want that to happen. <laughs> you don't. So that brings us to tip number four. Use small sections. The smaller the section, the easier it will be for you to detangle. You don't need tiny, tiny sections, obviously, but I usually like to section my hair in two to four sections with clips, and then from there, I'll just feel it out. So if I stick my comb, my Y2 comb in here, my hair is has been softened by the conditioner that I put in a few minutes ago. So I can take this section and I can work my way through pretty easily. If I was having some trouble, then I would just, I would take it in half or take as much as you think you can handle. So tip numero cinco is to experiment with the tools that you use to detangle your hair. There are so many tools to detangle curly hair now. There's the Denman brush, there's the Tangle Teaser, the wet brush, a million different types of wide tooth combs. You really have such a variety to choose from and all it takes is experimenting. When I don't use my wide tooth comb, I use my wet brush. I love my wet brush. It is amazing. It, it just glides through my hair. It glides through my hair, makes it feel like butter, and I don't need to be super 
hard on my hair. Oops, I do have a little tangle. If that happens, if your hair just gets stuck in the brush or the comb, just gently take it out. Be patient. But overall, this brush is incredible. And another tip, something that I described in the last detangling video, is I usually jo don't just stick the brush or the comb in the entire section of hair when I start out. I will detangle that first layer of hair, just stick it in halfway, part way, detangle that first layer. So then the next time you stick it in, you can go a little deeper. And by the time you know it, you will have the whole section in your brush or your comb. This brings us to our last tip. Be gentle with your hair. There is no rush. If you are in a rush, then you probably just shouldn't stick your hair in a bun. <laughs> because if you rush, you are going to cause breakage. You're going to cause more shedding. You're going to damage your hair. You're going to damage the cuticle layer. And if you want healthy hair, then you really just need to be patient. Especially when your hair is wet. It is so fragile. I cannot emphasize this enough. Just take your time and enjoy the process. So let us know how you detangle your hair wet, what products you use, what tools you use. We would love to know. And also let us know if you learned anything from this video. So we hope you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video. We would really appreciate it. And check out our Instagram, Facebook if you're in the mood. Give it a try if you haven't. It's a great detangular. Detangular? What the heck is that? Oh, that was meant to be a photo. Subscribe to our channel. Ah! <laughs> I got a hair in my eye. And we are done with that section. Yeah.